It's January 3rd, 2015 on Dana Durford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org, and you can find these videos at Beautiful Girl Boy Dana on YouTube. Bert Vogelstein. Now, Bert is a extraordinarily educated, talented, extremely well funded. Uh, ah, let me see. He has published 450 scientific papers since 1976. Really? Cool. 450! A big round number. I like them. Alrighty. 450, and each study, say, $50,000 minimum. Yum, yum, yum. And Bert has dragged in $22 million for his own private use and as all that money and hard work and time and energy and effort he says biological bad luck blame in two-thirds of the cancer cases two-thirds of the cancer cases that are increasing dramatically inconceivably rates nothing to do with the uh, radiation got nothing to do with cancer right bird is just two-thirds just got bad genes according to bird and so i got a little Dr. Raymond Gilmany has 84 peer reviews. He's Distinguished Scientific Achievement Awards in 2000. And he started off his career in 1974, same time as Bert. Now, Dr. Raymond Gilmany, for the next 35 years, used plutonium in dogs, and they all died and got cancers of ingesting those particles. And what he discovered as you can see, is very scary stuff. 46 bone tumors, 22 originated in the vertebrae, the pelvises, etc., etc. And so what he discovered was that no matter how small a particle, a man-made ionized radiated particle was, the dogs were going to die in about four years, at least 70% of them in the study. He'd done this study for 35 years, but according to Bert, the good old insider, who's been put on a pedestal in 450 scientific papers, and the best thing he can come up with is just bad luck. So what he's trying to say here is that, you know, he's, the people that will fall for this, the people that the media will propagate that out there, of course, and I'll take the kettle off the stove. I'm on the boat if there's a bit of background noise. You'll have to excuse it. Nothing I can do about it. we got freezing spray. For the next couple of days, minus 12 degrees, so we'll be tied up at the wharf, Cow Bay, in Prince Rupert, British Columbia. And I think it's uh, so disingenuous. Every nuclear power plant on the planet is releasing radioactive elements into the environment constantly through their fuel pools. They have to take the coriums out of the nuclear reactors after about 18 months and throw them away, but they've got to throw them in a fuel pool to cool down, they'll boil off about 120,000 liters a day, and because those fuel, uh, the coriums that already went through the chain reaction, they got all kinds of cracks in them, hundreds of millions, because of the temperatures and the concoctions that they use. So it's releasing all kinds of radioactive elements, iodines. And of course, when you hear iodine-131, there's 10 times more iodine-132 that ionize and radiates your thyroid, thyroid gland, nine times more effective. There's 30 times more iodine-132, the same principles and properties. And there's 31 times more iodine-129 with a 15 million year half, like it does the same thing here at Tell You In The Time. But according to Bert, the cancers can be just to a bad gene. Way to go, Bert. Way to go to cover it up for the industry. Way to go never to bring in some real research like I'm showing you here from Dr. Raymond Gilmedy, 1984, a decade later still doing beagle dogs. And oh yeah, they all died. And he keeps that going decade after decade, killing dogs with the smallest particles imaginable. And of course, according to Bert, it's just bad genes, because he doesn't bother taking those studies and putting them into the equation. So he's the most disingenuous person imaginable, and he never got to where he is by being honest. He got to where he is by being a monster and ignoring the reality when you think about what's really coming out of Japan all day, every day, let me give you an idea of what's coming out of Japan 
and how this actually truly works. This is Noah's model going into the ocean in a six year, 137 only. But for every 137, there's uh, up to 100 times more strontium-90 of the same properties. And But no, no, you know, Dana, that's got nothing to do with it. Bert said it's going to be just blah, blah, blah. And if you look at the dispersal models, where they use just iodine-131, didn't include the 132, the 30 times more 133, the 31 times more iodine-129, didn't include the strontium-90 100 times more, and it didn't include the other 2,000 radioactive elements that we know about. And the other 10,000 or so are classified. This is a 40-day dispersal model. So everybody was breeding these particles. And according to Dr. Raymond Gilmetty, that he proved it definitively that everybody will end up with cancers from ingesting those tiny particles. And how could you not ingest the tiny particles when your environment, these models are only based up on two of the elements. They don't include, either, you know, at least another 200 long life elements for some reason. And the 2,000 other elements, the jet streams are real. They really, truly are real. And they cover the entire northern hemisphere. This is NOAA's model of just the first, of just a single reactor releasing radioactive iodine. Just a single reactor, number one reactor, releasing just for a couple of days. That's the model. It never stopped coming out of there. And so what Bert Vogelstein is doing is he's muddying the water to the people that don't know any better and put their fate in this, this voodoo science guy, this, this witch doctor that is Bert Vogelstein, and is a disgusting, a disgusting representative of the establishment. And he doesn't get the job because he's honest. He gets the job because he's either an idiot, a useful idiot, or he's playing the game. And most likely anybody that got $24 million, right, for 450 scientific papers, knows how to play the game really well. And it is a game to them. That's how they get their money. They don't get their money and they don't get funding by telling you about the radioactive fallout from all the melter reactors and damage reactors and all the weapons used in all the wars. No. He gets the money because he models the water. And it's not just... I mean, this is the first couple of days. you got to think about that. This is the dispersal. Once again, they're just time at XC-133. Forget about... And it's only for a couple of days' releases. They don't bother putting in the equation that it never stopped burning yet. It's three and a half years, almost three and three quarters years, almost four years. And it's still hemorrhaging into the atmosphere. Once it gets into the upper troposphere, and it did, even if it was just a single plume that came out of that reactor that they're, they're using in the model, a single reactor, you got to remember there's three other reactors that detonated, blew up, caught fire, and dispersed their inventory all over this friggin' planet. And that's not in that model. And so Bert, in desperation, has got rolled out to fool everybody and deceive everybody, manipulate everybody. Evidence of sharp features. This is Health Canada. Evidence of sharp features in the Fukushima plume over southwestern British Columbia. What do you think they're talking about, Bert? Several studies on the radioactive releases from the Fukushima nuclear plant that already exist in the Fukushima plume provided a nice opportunity to test their toys that we paid for. We paid for their pensions, we paid for their vehicles, we paid for all that equipment, we paid for their children's teeth and everything else, you know? We paid for everything, and when they were supposed to go out and tell us what was happening, they hid this away on us. The study focuses, look at the bottom, on the arrival of the plume over southwestern British Columbia. Here's the, now, they took samples of 715 feet for 18 hours on March the 20th up the coastline of British Columbia, which is what I'm really doing. I'm going up the coastline of British Columbia and looking for life on the shoreline, and it's all missing. Everything is missing. You want to check it out at the Nuclear Proctologist or some of my previous videos. 15 minute time resolution, and then they turn off all the radiation monitors over the next couple of days through British Columbia. They turned their back on us, and so did Bert. Here's the plume. It's invisible. You can't see it, smell it, taste it, hear it, feel it. And Bert knows that. And so what Bert is, is he's more than, look, I mean, Japan was sending over those fire balloons, and they landed throughout Canada, right? They landed throughout Alaska, Washington, Oregon, Oregon, California, Arizona, Idaho, Montana, Utah, 
Wyoming, Colorado, Texas, Kansas, Nebraska, Dakota, and Michigan, Iowa, Mexico, and everywhere else. And these forecasts that are only based upon single releases from single reactors, but not the ongoing releases, just over a couple of days, are a deception all on its own. But so you got to take everything else into the consideration that there was more than one reactor that melted, more than one reactor, that, and then what they put into the fuel pools on the roof of it are all missing out of those ex detonated and exploded reactors. And so they're aerosol and atomized to that inventory. And a gram of it, a gram produces more radioactive elements than all the grains of sand and all the beaches on the planet. And so that stuff won't stop raining out because it won't stop coming out of Fukushima and they're not even going to try to stop it. And it's disgusting. It's disgusting because all the media ran out there and nobody bothered to mention that this guy is a whack job and a useful idiot for the industry. And it's just despicable. It's utterly heartbreaking. Dr. Raymond Gilmetti got 84 peer review academic studies showing it how fast the animals will die and what they die of. But here's Bert. No, no, they all died of bad genes, right, Bert? All those beagles over 35, almost 40 years. No. So the applications to the human exposure data. So you can take what happened to the beagle dogs, is what he's saying in that peer review academic study in 1989, and you can apply it to humans. But Bert's like, oh no, 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 I didn't kill a bunch of beagles, I just cooked up my own little books, and everybody ran with it because they're told to do that. It's disgusting. And on a happy note, let me see, Barry Prince came up from Tears and visit yesterday, and we went out, and that is uh, Rambo, Bur uh, Grant Rambo, I know everybody, because I had the same thought that was his nickname, but it's not, that's his actual last name, and his first name is Grant, really nice people, him, you can see him, he's, he's a fragile man, so that's a big deal for him to do what he's doing there, you can see Zoe out playing in the water, she loves the beaches. She's completely at home there. And careful, Grant. And let me see if we can get up to the pictures. There's Barry. And you see that there? That's a 3,000 year old carving in the rock. I got some better pictures. Here's Barry. I like that picture there myself. That's awesome. What's up? What's up, dog? And he's not really saying that. That's me. And so that's the car. That's a, a sculpture in rock. And that's the tide's just coming down, and so we went over and had a look at it because of the bad weather. And Barry came out for a visit. Uh, let me see. Let me keep going. We got some good pictures. We got a picture I want to get to here. There he is. Barry's kissing. Well, it's a 3,000. We call it, at that time, we were calling it a 3,000 year old woman who fell from space and left her mark on Earth. But anyway, Barry's going to. Make a very good picture for us on that one. Very cool. Very cool. And once again, let me see what else we got. Barry driving the boat. I just took pictures that day. We went up and floated around for a couple of hours. And let me see what else I might have for you. Oh, yeah, we got the tugboats. And we'll just let that play in the background. And they were pushing this big container ship. Now these container ships at full speed produces more pollution at full speed than all the cars in Canada, Australia, and New Zealand combined. Because they're burning bunker fuel, extremely toxic stuff, and that stuff will give you cancer too, Bert! You little devil. Because that's what Bert is, Bert's a devil, to say something like that. And the media that repeated it are disgusting people. And all of them are not going to have a pension in a year or so because all the species are missing on the coastline of British Columbia. All the species at the high tide line throughout the coastline of British Columbia are missing. We're on the expedition for life. I'm sitting on the boat right now, the same boat we're taking that picture from. And we're heading around this coastline through the winter. We got freezing spray warnings for the next couple of days. My prop is not gonna be here till Monday now. And I'll have to wait till Monday. It's been a nightmare. Uh, Elaine showed up here in Rupert on schedule, and so she got a couple of days out on the boat for a few hours at a time around Rupert Harbor and a four-hour fast ride out towards Poacher Island. We tore the prop off that 
tore itself off that day, and I didn't have an extra prop to be safe. It only had one extra prop, and it was already mangled. So we came back in, and that was really quite a treat. She's a lovely, 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 absolutely adorable person, very intelligent, and very dedicated, and has been a, an activist for a very long time, very aware, and very proud that she took the time and energy and the monetary to come up here and visit and see it for herself. Very, very cool thing. And I feel very blessed that I had the opportunity to meet that lady. Trust me, folks, extraordinarily tuned in lady and she really has good questions and good solutions and good answers and when she speaks you should give her an opportunity once again just a few pictures for Zoe jumping around in the water I gotta get more pictures like that because she has no fear of the water she frightens me sometimes but it also makes it easier on me I lost one of my walking sticks that I use for walking I lost my wheelchair last week. I lost a walking stick yesterday at the fuel dock. And so I went up and bought another type of stick. It's not the same stick, but at least I got two sticks to move around with again. And I'll get another video out hopefully before I take off. Won't be taking off for a couple of days till the weather will come back up Monday in about two days. The temperatures will, and the winds are gonna drop down and I'll be gone again. It's all ready to go. It's a turnkey. We're just going to keep going, keep getting that data, and you got to realize, out of the five starfish, this is one you're looking at here right now, that was out of the five starfish, that I that was only seen five starfish in three days, and that was about the only other thing besides kelp weed, all the other species are missing, in about 90 islands, and some of these islands are in groups, and so people might look at the pictures and say, that's one island. No, there's eight or nine islands that I touched on, of the shore, not touched on, but went along that shoreline of. And so they're all individual islands. There's 26,000 of them up here. And in a little picture of a GPS might not look like they're very big or very far apart, but they actually are. Okay, these melted deformed starfish, that was the only things I've seen and they're all dying or dead and they're melting. You can see everything else is missing around it. You can see like that white stuff. Well, that's where the, uh, the barnacles, that's their glue from the barnacles, and they're missing. Yeah, it's pretty shocking that it came down to this. And what else can we say? Only that Bert is disgusting person who's a manipulative lying sack of shit and his goal is to deceive everybody and anybody willing to believe why would a doctor lie and you know you might as well ask yourself the other question then why would he not use why why didn't he refer to the fact that dr raymond gilmetty PhD from Loveless Repository or uh, Respiratory Research Institute in New Mexico. All those studies, and there's probably a thousand other institutions like that out there that done the studies on every other animal out there where they fed them americium and cesiums and iodine and watched them die of cancer and recorded it for decades. No, no. No, no, that was bad genes. Right, Bert? Bad genes. And that's what you are, Bert. Bad genes. Real bad. A nightmare and your reign of deception is coming to an end because everybody knows better just because the media shoved you out there don't mean you got any credibility I can guarantee you and as the next year goes by you'll have zero because people will remember that deception hugs for everybody thank you for making this possible that we got up the coastline make no mistake I need your support all the way through this. I really do. There's no way I can do this. It's The money comes in in dribs and drabs, and I can only do it when I got the dribs and drabs. And there's nothing I can do about that. I don't, you know, it's hard for me to always come out and ask people, to remind them even, that we need real funding to get through this entire winter and this coastline and document it all. And so please try to support me. If, if you have, 
you know, the ability, uh, I'll keep asking because I got no choice. But it'd be nice if someone would contact me and we can work out a way or some way so that if I get into a jam, I can reach out to these people. Because right now, you know, I'm by myself on a boat off the west coast on British Columbia up north, isolated, trying to get this data. And it's very difficult to do the things I'm doing. It's impossible, but we're still pulling it off. So we need support desperately. And right now, uh, I got enough to go for a week and a half or something, but then it'll take seven days for that money to show up in my account. You can find a way to donate through PayPal and just type in Dana, D-A-N-A, Durnford, D-U-R-N-F-O-R-D, at hotmail.com on PayPal and you'll get my PayPal account. You can donate right there. And that's a fast way to donate to me. You go to nuclearproctologist.org and you can donate with credit cards. It's all by the corporations. It's very safe, very secure, and extremely needed. Right now, I'm gonna have to get another little skiff to get a shore on because I'm in the boat by myself and it's too difficult to anchor this, get up on the rock pile without smashing everything up and get the boat off the rock pile and then get it back into the rock piles because I am by myself and, I, and I'm disabled and so I need to raise another eleven hundred dollars in taxes to get an eight foot um, little skiff that I can use to go ashore in that's, that's safe enough because you got to realize I'm off the royal west coast of British Columbia Bert on the other hand Bert gets all the money he wants 22 million dollars worth to come out and manipulate and deceive people. And all I'm trying to do is take pictures and you can look at the picture and make up your own mind. Bert doesn't want you doing stuff like that. He wants you thinking that when your loved ones die or have to liquidate all their assets after working all their lives and they live alongside nuclear power plants or were exposed to man-made ionized radiation, that it wasn't that at all. No, Dr. Raymond Gilmetti was wrong at 35 years of killing beagles with it. No, it wasn't radiation. It was bad genes. And take care, folks. We'll catch you when we get a chance.